everyone and welcome to Kezi's Corner. This will probably be my last video for 2020. So, oh my goodness. What a year it has been. I just wish to say thank you so very much to everyone who has supported my channel, who has come back every single time to watch my videos. It truly means the world to me. I am so grateful to all of you and I'm so happy with the family we have built together, the community and basically the corner that we have established. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, guys. I absolutely love you all. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here is the final video of 2020. By the way, fun fact, I've actually vlogged um, all day for 365 days, 52 weeks basically, or whatever, how many weeks there are, but I've actually managed to vlog for the whole year, which I'm very, very like, oh my goodness, like what the hell, how did I do that? But I did that, so yeah. Um, okay, today's video is going to be a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial. Now I use the palette that you wanted to see me do a throwback series on, and that is the Naughty Palette by Kylie Cosmetics. This was released quite a while ago, but I actually really like it but today I realized that there is not much you can do with it so I don't really like it that much but the quality of it is amazing and this is a New Year's Eve makeup look I don't know what I'm doing probably nothing for New Year's Eve because of the whole pandemic thing and hopefully next year will be completely new better year hope you all are staying safe taking care of everybody um, I wish you all the best for the new year massive hugs to everybody kisses as well i just wish you all the best for the new year guys i love you all thank you all so much for your support it means the world to me and here is this year's new year's eve makeup tutorial if you like it give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more then press subscribe bye Okay, so let's begin. I'm of course using the Naughty Palette from Kylie Cosmetics. This is discontinued because it was a holiday special edition palette, but I still loved it. Um, the first shade I take is the shade Unwrap Me. So definitely if you've purchased this palette and have forgotten it, definitely go and grab it and maybe recreate this look or any other look using this palette. I first used a big fluffy brush to apply this shade at the outer corner, but then I used a blending brush to blend it inwards. And then I used Merry Mint, um, and I basically applied this in my crease, um, and I softened out the Unwrap Me shade. It didn't do much, but it did soften up a little bit, and I liked the effect of it. And then I just go basically back and forth with the brushes I've used to blend out the Unwrap Me shade and yeah, have it the way I like it. Now I take my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas, absolutely love this product, it is a holy grail for sure. And I take the shade called Jingle. I first apply this using my fingertips and I found that using my fingertips it wasn't, I think, um, using the most um, um, of the product. So then I went in with a brush and it was much more pigmented and I dampened the brush as well. And this helped with the product actually showing out and coming out through. So yeah, I apply this obviously where I applied my cut crease. Um, the half cut crease. And now I take the shade called Ho 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 and I apply this on my crease. So above um, the Unwrap Me shade and basically over the Merriment. So the Merriment then just disappeared. But I like this combo then. Um, and then I used Emerald and at first I was going to just leave it as it was. But then I used Emerald and I really liked how I used it. I put it in the outer corner in between the Jingle shade and also the Unwrap Me shade. And it was it worked really perfectly. Um, now I started using um, my face products. And the first thing that I used is the e.l.f. Puddy Primer. And then I used the XX Revolution Glow Skin Foundation um, as my foundation today. Absolutely love this foundation. Again, this is a really nice glowing um, foundation, but I have no complaints whatsoever. I don't usually like glowing foundations, but this one, I actually really like it. So yeah, here I am blending it out. And then I take the, um, I think this was the Morphe Fluidity um, Concealer, actually. And I just apply some concealer under my eyes and on my nose and all that jazz and then i take the iheart revolution coconut baking powder absolutely love this powder 
and I just sit underneath my eyes and then I just sit all over my face. I don't like baking anymore so I just literally um, set it with the little powder that I can use. <laughs> so now I'm taking the Revolution um, Glow Bronzer. I absolutely love this bronzer. Um, I think I applied a bit too much, <laughs> yet I think then I blended in nicely. So don't worry, okay, don't be afraid. I did blend it out eventually. Okay, then I take the Ho 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 shade and I apply it on my lower lash line. And I take the shade called Snowflake and apply it in my inner corner. And I absolutely love the effect that it gave with Jingle. And then I take the Essence um, Volume Booster Lash Primer Mascara and I apply this first to my lashes. And then I go in with the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara and I feel like that this combo actually helped with lengthening and volumizing my lashes. Absolutely love this combo. And then I take the Revolution Skin Kiss Highlight in Champagne Kiss and apply this as my highlight. And then I go back into the Glow Bronzer and I apply it you do contour my nose and then I take a Colourpop lipstick to finish up the look I'll leave the name listed in the description box below so if you like today's look here it is um, give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more then press subscribe happy new year to everyone I wish you all the best and if you recreate this look don't forget to tag me guys take care and love you all